Hi, welcome to another video. Two videos in one day. So today I received my Rode Link Wireless Audio System Filmmaker Kit. So it's a 2.4 gig wireless transmitter and receiver intended for videos. Stick one on the camera, one on the recipient, whether it's someone you're filming, someone at a wedding party, anything. So maybe you're doing an interview. So this is the kit, just arrived. I'll unbox it, give you a look, and I'll plug it onto this Panasonic camera and give the audio a try. So there's a few popular makes out there, Sennheiser, G3 is the latest one, uh, Audio-Technica, and obviously this Roadlink. So why did I choose the Roadlink? I think the answer is obvious. Most of you will use Rode microphones with us in the studio on the cameras, so the answer is pretty obvious to me. Right, let's open the box. So I must say, fancy packaging, very well presented. So one receiver, one transmitter, very nice. Transmitter, carry case, set for the microphone. Yes, and 3.5 millimeter jack plug here. Feels like it's metal, feels heavy, good quality and obviously a ring to secure it to the transmitter. Look at the size of this microphone compared to this road one over here. So that's the microphone spanner. That's the knob to secure it to a cold shoe on your camera. What else is in the bag? <laughs> the cutest uh, wind cheater. <laughs> Dropped it. So obviously cut out some wind noise and give my microphone more hair than I've got. That's the clip for the lab mic. So lavalier or lapel mic. What else? Another spanner. And finally a sponge tip for the mic. This one's obviously for wind. That obviously dampens down some sort of noise. I'll have to read the uh, instructions. So that's the bag, contents, one transmitter, some instructions on the back. Tight plastic clip. USB power on the side. Press the button, slide that down for the dB, so times 10 times 20 dB gain, so it's quite a lot. And pull this down further, put two AA batteries. We've got silica gel in there, to absorb any moisture. So we've gone to town on the packaging and then the receiver. That's the cold shoe mount or hot shoe mount if it's going on the camera. Cold shoe, hot shoe. So USB power again, audio out, channel select. So I've got mute on the sound. Click channel select. Same again. So you can cut the audio by minus 10 and minus 20 dB. So just you know, in case you're not familiar, 3 dB is half, so if, you, if you're reducing something by 3 dB, you're cutting it in half. Give you some idea, and so minus 10 is significantly more than 3, and a minus 20 dB. Little tip for you. So that's receiver. So how do I connect this to the camera? Ah, in the bottom, with more silica gel. So screw on connector to secure it to the receiver, and then that plugs into the camera. Well, right, so I've put the batteries in. The systems come prepared. Close 
goes up there. So to save battery power, you can see this display turns off after a few seconds. I'll just hit that momentarily. See we're on channel one. Hit the channel there to bring this display. I think this is a, an OLED, so organic LED display. So if you've got multiple pairs of transmitters and receivers, you want to change the channel, hit the pair button. and then change the channel. So we say leave it. So if we want channel three for example, that's now looking for the transmitter. If I press pair on the transmitter, paired in a fraction of a second. So you get a volume level on the receiver. I'm talking into this microphone, it's just at level 1. You can see the level coming up to the second level. If I turn the gain up, 10 dB, remembering 3 dB is twice as loud, so I'm up to 10, which is significantly more. Get this display to come back on. So you can see it's peaked and clipped there, but more importantly, on the transmitter, you see a red light comes on, that's telling you it's getting distorted. So I'll turn the gain back down to zero. So all it leaves me to do is put it on the camera and try it. Right, so this is my Panasonic 3CCD HD camera. I've got a cold shoe attachment popped in on the side here, that sits in there. So this is cold tube because there's no contacts. Obviously on your photographic camera you'll have flash contacts so that'd be a hot shoe. So take the road link receiver, slide it onto there, lock it down, plug that into the microphone. You'd obviously do this, do the same on your photographic camera if you're adding the external wireless. So that's it, set up, ready to go. And it's automatically picked up the external mic. So turn this on. And that's now going to look for the transmitter. And that's with it complete on the tripod. So this is now the Nikon camera videoing the Panasonic display. I'm running on the Rode wireless link and I'm letting you see the LCD screen. When you plug in an external mic you get the audio indicator down here. I've had to turn the receiver down to minus 20 dB. This internal amplifier obviously is too powerful for this microphone system. So we'll see what this sounds like, minus 20 dB, compared with the 5.1 internal surround sound. So it's a cold, wet November the 5th. Not many fireworks or bonfires tonight, I reckon. Uh, it's raining, so I haven't got a plastic bag on the receiver or the camera. Hopefully it's slightly water resistant. Let's give this system a bit of a range test. Trying to avoid the cowpats just in a farm across the road. It's lovely in the summer. So if you had a firework night and you want to do an interview with someone and they're miles away from the camera. What a day. So this has got to be 20, 30 meters from the camera, maybe a bit less, but you get an idea. 
nice view see what the audio sounds like so maybe you're just doing videos at home or you want to do a wedding party something like that capture the audio from bride groom priest hi so back indoors after that test hopefully you saw the microphone on my shirt outside uh, what I noticed during the outside test, you could still hear the cars on the road. So picking up the road noise and the wind. So I'm assuming during a wedding, if, you, if you're doing a wedding, for example, uh, and you put a microphone on the groom, because it's omnidirectional, it will pick up the sound from the bride and presumably pick up the voice from the priest as well. So that would negate the need to buy two of these to you know, wire up the priest. There's a few priests I'd like to wire up as well. Uh, so this is made in Australia. Forgot to mention one other simple point. Press this. That mutes the transmitter, mutes the microphone. So hopefully this video will decide or help you decide whether you want to purchase the Rodelink wireless audio system. This was £264 from Amazon. Uh, they are available on eBay as well. Thank you for watching.